A true friend is a friend that when you're with him or her, everything feels really in flow, right? Uh-uh. I used to think a friend would be the person who would accept me for who I am, tell me that everything's okay, make me feel that everything is going to be okay, and life would be really good when we're together. And for the most part, that's true. Then I learned in sixth grade with Mr. Jordan that the definition of love in friendship is something you're willing to do for someone else before you're willing to do it for yourself. I used to think, well, I just think that's sacrifice. But nevertheless, it stays with me to this day, that definition. And then more recently, turn of the century, after the year 2000, I started to realize that to have very close friends in my life, and which I can count about four, we have to be the kind of friend we want to be. I'm not so much into, we hear all the time, the new platinum rule. The golden rule is treat others, do to others the way we would want to have done to ourselves. And the platinum rule is treat other people the way they want to be treated. Well, no, I mean a lot of sadomasochists and a lot of people who are okay with putting themselves down and lack of self-confidence and not seeing the beauty, love and energy and glory of God in them that I try to find and point out. So I'm not really sure about that whole platinum rule, but I do believe in friendship that I try to be the friend that I want others to be. And that's sort of what I've learned at BOSU. We had invisible teaching. This is invisible learning. And we lead by example to quote St. Francis. We preach, but we don't use words. And I believe that a true friend is the best friend when it's difficult, not when it's easy. That's my most recent lessons learned. So a good friend, one of my five, Roberto, came to Paris and I was there and I had a long trip that was not easy with Biscuit before he arrived. He arrived and was not feeling well and was very ill and I decided I'm going to go out and I'm going to find a chicken and make soup and do everything that I needed to do to try to nurse him and make him feel better while myself had a fever and chills and Biscuit issues etc. And I thought who else is going to do this now? A friend is a friend when it's difficult, not when it's easy. I was late in from Greece to America and Roberto was in hospital and needed something for me to go from my flat to his flat to the hospital to take him what he needed, already having been up for 27 hours, not very coherent in my mind of what I needed to do or think or feel or be was my definition of being a true friend. Now, I'm not making this post to say, look how great I was, because there are plenty of times when I'll roll over and say, I don't have to answer that call because it's probably someone needing something that's just not convenient right now, but that might be work. And if somebody calls me on a Sunday morning, perhaps that's not when I'm gonna answer my phone. But a friend, if it's a friend, day or night, my apple do not disturb, allows my <laughs> number five list to get through day or night, which can be embarrassing if a best friend calls during mass, just saying, that's why we have silent theater mode and do not disturb, <laughs> even for our favorites. My point is, how do we define friendship? And friendship for me really is not always when it's something super easy, because when we need the person on whom we can depend is the person that's going to be there to tell us the truth, the truth sets us free after it pisses us off, and then we can move forward with someone who tells us that shirt does, not, does nothing for you and those collars just don't fit your neck. Maybe you want them to, but they're not. And I appreciate that honesty. With love in my heart and a firm commitment to continue to spread wellness without walls, I'm Lawrence, expressing my gratitude to you for allowing me to express my lessons learned thus far. And I conclude this lessons learned by asking you who are your true friends that you might count on one hand and where are some times when you could pull out the definition of, you know, you are a friend in these times when I realize it was really challenging and go out and express some gratitude to that person. Otherwise, just thinking doesn't make gratitude happen. And 
ask yourself, where have you stepped up and really been a friend when it really sort of sucked to do those things, but when it was challenging, meant probably, in terms of friendship, the most. <laughs>